Hey all and welcome back to the next video tutorial series. In this video we're going to go over how to edit your model and put it in game. So let's, before we get started, um, I'm going to put some disclaimers. Um, the version of Blender I'm using is 3.4.1 and I have an add-on installed. It's called Lazy Viewport Add-on. I'll show it. Um, I'll link it down in the description but all it does is just, um, let me go here and then if I try to move it, it just shows this axis and all. And, but yeah, that's about it. <clears throat> and also, um, the other disclaimer is, um, this is not a Blender tutorial guide. I'm not going to show you how to use Blender. So before you get into this video, look up some few tutorials on how to use Blender, because I'm not going to explain that here. So yeah, let's just get started. So um, last video I showed you how to get into this um, area of the model, which is the main part, not the airlift straps, as it has a dinosaur in it. So to edit the model, you want you want to click on the mesh, not anything else like this. It's like a hitbox on accident. So to make sure you don't hit that, just disable these, like over here. And then to um, to actually edit the model, um, you want to go. There's two modes we use. Um, it's edit mode. You can go into edit mode with press, with pressing tab, or sculpt mode, or by clicking up here while the object is selected and going to sculpt mode. So if you go into sculpt mode, make sure you have this on. It's the X symmetry. Make sure you don't use a modifier at all. It messes up the UV maps. I'll show you an example real quick. I'm going into back to object mode. So let's see the UV map here. And as you can see, it's like neat, neat and full up here. So if you use the mirror modifier, and which is here, right there, yep, B bisect, and then apply, go back to edit mode. Um, I mean, UV and the UV editor. As you can see, it's basically all halved. We do not like this. Use it in emergency cases, like you accidentally forgot to use the symmetry. So let's just revert that. So in edit mode, it, um, this is very useful edit mode. It's like adjusting teeth and all. So you can press L on tooth, like that. Most teeth are like this, uh, except for things like Indominus Rex and Giganosaurus. Um, some of their teeth are joined into the model. I'll go over that in a future video on how to like separate those teeth that are joined to the model. But yeah, you can just press L and then select these teeth. You can just move them around like so. Or you can just you can select them individually, pressing L. And then, yeah, you can just move them around really. So for sculpt mode, um, this is like where you... Um, you edit the model primarily, um, except for like tiny stuff with the edit mode, like teeth. So the main tools we use is Elastic Deform, Grab, and Smooth. And yeah, that's about it. You don't even need the other tools. Maybe Sculpt Draw, Clay Strips, or that I guess, Clay. But you don't usually use those. It's Elastic Deform, um, Grab, and Smooth. Um, you don't even have to click on Smooth to use it. You can just press Shift. And then like hold, click on the model with the left mouse button, and you can smooth this out uh, to make this abomination right there. But we're going to double Control C. So um, in this video, I'm going to try making a makeshift Tarbosaurus. Um, it's just not going to be accurate at all. It's just for the sake of the video. So I'm going to add a reference. I'm going to do that by pressing Shift A, Image, and Reference. And I'm going to try to troll the Tarbo folder. I already installed a skeletal image from Google. Just look up any skeletal. Like, I don't know, let's look it up. Something like Ceratosaurus Skeletal. And then you get like and a good Ceratosaurus Skeletal like this or that. I'm um, just reverse it for reverse the image in Blender by using the scale and then like doing that. But yeah. To, so I'm gonna make a Tarbosaurus out of this and I'm gonna pose the Rex a bit to like um, better suit the pose of the image right there. Um, to pose the Rex, just go on to click the rig itself, which is that, and then go into pose mode by pressing object, pose, and then yeah, you can pose it right there. And you can like move this around. I'm gonna move it down a bit, something like that. Um, and then move the head like that. Yeah, it's not the best, but yeah, you get the point. Um, it makes it easier to sculpt on. And then going back to sculpt mode, and then make sure this is on. And the main tools we're going to use is the Elastic Deform. Let me move the reference away real quick. And yeah. And to make sure the reference appears properly, um, you just go in here, um, object app properties, um, depth, 
set it to front, turn on opacity, and it's like move it down a bit to the point you can see both the model and the image correctly. Um, I'm, going, I'm probably going to scale this up a bit too. Like that, I guess. That's nice. And I'm going to pose the model so it fits. So going back to pose mode. Um, let's see, we can move the neck bone up right there. Something like that. And yeah, that's, that's that sounds good. Yeah. And then go back to sculpt mode again. So we want to get the shape right first, so I'm to eat this, again, let's use elastic before. It just does this. It's pretty easy to manipulate the mesh and all. Um, it affects the surrounding area more. Um, in, like, I don't know how to describe it. Let me just set an example. As you can see, this is grab brush, right? And I'm going to, like, pull it up. It's pretty intense right there. And I'm going to do that. And use elastic before I'm going to do the same. Yeah, as you can see, it has a more wider area effect. And it's, like, less intense. Sort of. And we just like move it to match the skull a bit, like that. It's, it probably is not going to look an actual Tarbosaurus, by the way, in game. Um, this is just a very quick mod. Hmm, I guess that, that works for the sake of the mod. And we want to like make it less chunky. I mean, well, yeah, on the top, make it less chunky on the top. And then move the neck area to fit to the black lines there. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to use the grab mesh right there. Hmm. And if you if you can't see it properly, just disable the image. And yeah, I'm going to use smooth tool to like smooth this out. Hmm. And then that area looks weird for now. So I'm going to try fixing that. And I think Tarbosaurus has like a, I'm sure, I mean, I don't know what to say. The width of the skull is like less, so I'm going to do that too. Like that. Oh, also, by the way, I forgot to mention this. Um, see, as you can see here, the eye is very off from the actual eye bone right there. Do not try and do that. Um, it's going to mess up the animations again. If you do decide to do that, you want to make sure the eye is white, white painted to the skull bone. I mean, head bone. I'll show that soon, but in a future video. But for now, I'm going to move this eye back, I guess. Oops. And go back to elastic deform. I'm going to move this back right there. It looks ugly, but whatever. Yeah. Just make sure it's not too off. From the bones in general, like this goes for any part of the body, like a jaw. Do not make like. Okay, I'm going to show an example again. So I'm going to reset the pose since I'm dumb mostly for the model. So to reset it, I'm going to press. I'm going to double click all. I mean, double click A, which selects all of them, and go into pose, clear transformation, and all, and that. And for the thing I'm going to show you about, not to move it very far off from the bone. As you can see, this is the head bone right there. In edit, I'm going to edit mode. Um, this is the head bone that's highlighted. Make sure the head is not like this. Scope mode. I'm going to... Yeah, like that. This is not going to work in game at all. Because that's it's way offset from the actual bone itself. So just don't do something like this. Or there's another example. This for textures actually do not stretch it too much for the sake of textures. Go to Z, hold Z, material preview, and then back to sculpt mode. Move this down real quick. And it's, this is called texture stretching. As you can see, if you move, if you stretch it too much, the structures, I mean, the textures get deformed and stretched and all. So do not do that. That's like it looks very ugly in game. And we're gonna do that. But yeah. So I think I'm happy with this makeshift Tarbosaurus for now. So now we're going to like put this in game. So to do that, go back to object mode. Go click, make sure you're here. Object data properties, scroll down. Click this button. Wire selected on this part, lot zero, the lot zero mesh. And then create lots. So plus that. And then to like put this in game. So file, export, MS2, export it as Cobra model MS2. And then go where you extracted the dinosaur at. 
So I extracted my original Rex files in this file called Tutorial Tarbo. So I'm going to click on the original Rex model right here and then just press Export MS2. And then we just wait a bit. Yeah, and if it succeeded, it should be like this and it should not have any errors. Um, it should say finish MS2 export like that. And then we go into wherever we have our Cobra tools at. And then old wheel tool. And then just locate your to your transfers Rex folder. Um, mine's right here because um, there's like a config I said so it just automatically puts it right there and then click on what I cl extracted from with certain source text JWE so I'm gonna open that so then locate your file again uh, mine's is all turbo export and then make sure you only drag in this file the models are MS2 do not drag in these files they just bug out in game so only this again I'm going to show you and then just press out or control S to save it or just go on file and save and now we just run the entire um, I mean the game, we just run the game, that's it It's going. That's it. It's taking a while. Hmm. Yep. There we go. I'm going to turn on free shade now. And skip that. Skip that. And the fast way to check is just go into species viewer, enter species viewer. And then go down to your dinosaur. So I'm going to carnivore and scroll down to transfer tricks. Um, as we can see, we have this ugly Tarbosaurus we made. But yeah, that's about how you edit models primarily. Oh, I don't even. Yeah. So, yeah, let's, I'll see you later, guys.